and searching your Instagram, I figure out that you you receive a gift from a friend, from a coin, from from the Mexican World Cup coin. Yeah. I remember it was back 1986, and uh, Argentina won the, the the cup, and I was a kid there. And, and the coins had a, had a meaning. And the Roman emperors used the coin for for communication and to communicate power. And what are the 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 significance that you give to, to that coin that was gifted to you? I mean, this coin was, yeah, uh, it was a gift from my mother. Uh, well, both, yeah, my mother, both of my parents, because they were able to get to these games and walk back in Mexico. And at that time, I was working with the Mexican Soccer Federation. Um, and I was super inspired about uh, growing f uh, women's football in Mexico and having, like, the opportunity since I haven't had it. So this like coin uh, represents a lot of, for me, like all the service that Mexico brings to the world. Like, I mean, in my case, I do believe that being Mexican is like, it's a superpower. Like everywhere you go, you said you are Mexican. It's like, oh, Mexican, oh, everyone is like super happy, you know? And uh, we, yeah, we are friendly, we're super open, we are like, we, we, we want to help every time and um, and I mean there's uh, this is something that I really love about my country and uh, uh, and this is a reminder like this coin for me that uh, yeah like uh, big and huge events are able to 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 get to Mexico and and uh, being success you know like everyone likes to be I mean liked to be there at some point and my I mean my father, um, told me that it was an amazing event. I wasn't born even there, but uh, yeah, it was it was great to have this gift from them. Also, because yeah, I'm the, like, like the footballer of. I mean, I'm I'm the 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 footballer sibling. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, you mentioned something very interesting. Mexico has a superpower. You are <laughs> proud of being a Mexican. That's a great thing. And, and the other thing that you tell that you work for the Mexican Federation, uh, what was your work there and what did you learn that you're applying right now? Um, I mean, I was a, a team manager for women's national teams. Uh, we have four uh, women's national teams there. They, the main team, I mean, the, the first team, the under 20, under 17 and under 15. Um, I've learned a lot. I mean, as a fan that you don't know what's happening uh, backstage in, in the Federation, you always think that they're doing things wrong and, and they don't know what to do and everything. But being there, like in the backstage, it's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of a very familiar uh, environment uh, with all of your teammates and with all of the players and at that point um, you are super in touch with the players uh, also for the for the under 18 players that you are legally um, the representative of, of these players so uh, you have to take care of them you speak with their parents you speak I mean you are always aware of uh, them having all the documents uh, correctly, uh, visas, uh, passports, um, like trying not to get lost uh, or a player lost anytime because obviously it's super frustrating with them. Also, when you go to, um, I mean, at that point, I was uh, coordinating every um, uh, World Cup, operational logistics, logistics of the Federation on World Cups, uh, championships, uh, international camps, like national camps. Um, games uh, and, and coordinating like all the areas. I was the, the column of coordinating all the areas to be able to achieve uh, one concentrate I mean camp or or World Cup or anything uh, we were heading to. So yeah, it was a lot of work. It was a twenty four seven work. Um, super super. Uh, I mean problem solving all the time. Uh, but it was it was great because. The most important thing there was, okay, you are doing everything or a lot of things so that everyone is focused on the game because winning the game will bring you a lot of impact out there. So you don't, I mean, you have to, to know that the player is not worried about anything out there and just worried about uh, the game, you know. So yeah, that was amazing to, to help them uh, at that uh, at that point and yeah you see things different it's, it's amazing to be to 
to be there and see everything from backstage. Yeah, people sometimes uh, have an opinion with only watching the tip of the iceberg, and, and you were yeah. in the in the in the mud in the everyday, and you have to be highly organized and taking care of all the details to allow the players to play and to make the best they can to win. And that's yeah, of a course. Great thing. And, I mean, there were times that we were uh, on a camp. I mean, uh, pre World Cup, we were m one month. Uh, it was a yeah, Uruguay 2018 Women's Under-17 World Cup. Uh, we do a pre uh, pre season one month prior in um, in Uruguay, playing against other teams to get prepared for the World Cup. So it was one month, and then one month, uh, other one month to, to for, for all the tournament uh, because we get to the finals. We lost against Spain. Uh, we were uh, um, second place. Uh, so yeah, of course. The girls are like, okay, uh, I miss my mom, I miss my dad, I miss my family. So, I mean, we do have a psychology uh, person um, at the team, uh, but also, like, there were a lot of girls. There were like, 20, 24 girls uh, there uh, with the same team for two months, uh, just in a hotel, like, they couldn't be able to, to be anywhere, you know, training and focused and... Yeah, it's super hard, but uh, I mean, you try. I remember that at one at what point. I mean, you know that there's um, the Dia de Muertos uh, in Mexico. It's very famous. It's super, super a, a tradition, a very beautiful tradition. Um, so one day, I remember this was a super great day that I bought uh, everyone like paint, face paintings, and everything. So we do like a a, a <laughs> mini tournament of painting for the Dia de Muertos, and it was super fun. And obviously, it's like uh, not attaching all the time the girl to football, but like trying to think about it, any other thing. And all all the the coaches were like participating, so it was a super fun day, and they were super relaxed for the next day and uh, yeah this kind of um, things that you do like more than your job is something uh, that do a huge impact yeah you you, you work the extra mile that's yeah, the exactly. thing and I, I I understand long journeys because when I when I travel playing tennis more than two months was was enough and you you figure out with, in a creative way making that mini tournament because the player is about the sport 100% of the time and you work creative enough to get them out of their mind, you know, and play some different things. 